So what is up everyone this is Ken here welcome back to Tech and if you don't know official Octavio US V2.6 is released for many devices so if you have a device which has Octavio's official build available you can install this build on your device and in this video we're going to talk about the changes the major changes which you get in this latest Octavio OS 2.6 of course it's based on Android version 11 and it comes with some cool and interesting features I made a lot of videos on Octavio OS so we're just going to talk about the Octavio OS 2.6 the latest build changes that which are the changes you get here some interesting changes are listed below which I will not be able to show you all the changes by the way so the first change which we have is the new icons I did end up any kind of icon pack here this is the default icon pack and icons are inspired from posp which is potato open source project custom room if you don't know posp is a very good kind of custom room and then these icons are inspired from that custom room so this is the default first change which you get here is the default icon pack is now changed some users will like this icon pack some users will not and i'm one of those who don't like this icon pack the previous icon pack or the default icon pack was quite good but it's just okay it's everyone's own opinion another change which we have is the lock screen new clocks yes lock screen has new clock styles available some styles were already present like the swing animation loading animation button bubble animation actually but some are the latest ones some are extra changes dot spectrum many kind of lock screen clock styles are available for you and some of these animated kind of lock screen lock screen styles clock styles looks quite good and yes i'm one of those who like this thing actually this lock screen clock style is quite good and amazing but i like this it's all about users opinion as i previously mentioned you so if you like this use this if you don't like this just simply don't use it it's just up to you. no one is forcing you to choose any kind of these things and of course i'm talking about the changes not talking about the features you get here as some guys have some the some kind of misunderstanding the thing i'm talking about the features these are some changes another change which you get here is the power menu modes yes power menu has some extra customizations available for you like power menu additional action we've chosen the flashlight option so yes you can see there is a flashlight tile available you can also customize to screenshot if you want to use a screenshot one simply hold for hold power menu for some seconds sorry for this that was some delay so let me just try to do one thing like this and now we have the screenshot tile and you can customize this thing this was not available previously alongside with that we also have the two option to choose the power menu opacity like this transparency which you can adjust you can use the zero to up to 200 maybe it's all about transparency if you want transparent kind of power menu you can use that if you want if you don't want transparent power menu you can simply disable this so these are some extra changes which you get in the power menu so power menu modes are quite good another change which you got here is a per app volume control i'm not sure if it was available in the previous builds but yes it's now added here including that we also have the new volume panel style called miui compact which was not added there now we have the miui style volume panel available for you so if your user who actually a miui lover or want to use a miui kind of volume slider the option is available for you looks quite good by the way like this but you can also use other one for example android oreo style volume panel which looks quite good but it's all about user's opinion in my case i like to choose the oreo android oreo style which reminds me the old days so that's why i love this thing it's all up to you if you don't use if you don't want to use it, if you don't like it simply just don't use it but these are some cool and major changes another change which you get here is the advanced gestures i am i'm not sure but yes this is a change which i've noticed on my device the gesture didn't have these kind of advanced options amount of screen height gesture bar length you can also get some advanced gesture options like this extended swipe action and including that some extra changes are also which i'll not be able to show you but one of the best custom room update out there link is in the description install this pill thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day over the edge feel like i'm floating through yeah